Hello, my name is Aaron Ward and this is my project for reading from a joystick and outputting to an LCD display. Uh, first let's look at the hardware and then we'll talk about how this was done. This is a Skyhawk QuickShot model QS209 that I bought at the Goodwill for $1.50. This is a JHD162 Alpha uh, parallel input 16 column by 2 row yellow LED backlit LCD module. This is, you can't see it here behind these wires, but a little microchip PIC 16F684 microprocessor. Uh, this little circuit board here it was a hack done to the cable of the joystick uh, to condition the inputs from the X and Y axes and the two push button controls and this little yellow thing right here is my USB PIC uh, programmer. I got that on eBay for about fifteen dollars and I use that to program all of my PIC projects. So, uh, this whole project cost about ten dollars uh, and let's look at what we have here. First I hacked the uh, the joystick here and I opened it up I looked at all the connections for the the two potentiometers for the X and Y axes and the uh, two momentary push button switches thumb and trigger here. Then I cut off the end of the DB15 connector and wired it to this little circuit which has four resistors and two capacitors. There's two uh, 10K pull up resistors for the two push button switches and a uh, 2.2K and 0.1 microfarad capacitor uh, uh, circuits for the uh, charging circuits for the X and Y axes. So there are wires going from this little circuit that come from the joystick going over to certain pins on the PIC chip to read in all these values. I got the code and the circuitry from uh, Nigel Goodwin's PIC tutorials. Uh, if you want to look that up, just Google that. Nigel Goodwin's pick tutorials on and you'll find his website. This is tutorial number four how to read a joystick and output to an LCD display and let's take a look here let's zoom in and as I move the joystick look at the top row first I'm moving the uh, the x-axis and the Y varies a little too when I go back and forth. But I go all the way, th these are 16 bit hexadecimal values. So I can go all the way down to B, which is 11 in decimal, and all the way up to 2, 3, delta or something. And, uh, you, and you can convert those hex values to decimal values. And it's roughly, I think it was around 600 decimal. So from 11 to 600 in decimal for the x-axis and then about the same thing for the y-axis. If you look at the bottom row now I'm going all the way down to about B and going up to uh, 1F9 or something like that. So now the push buttons the thumb button is the top one. When I press that it shows that the button the switch is closed and when I release it opens and the same for the trigger, which is the bottom row. I'm going to close, open, close, open, and so on. Close them both at the same time, open them. So, now what is, what's the good of this? What can this be used for? Well, you can connect this to a couple of servos to control a two-axis servo system or some other kind of robot or anything you want to. You can control with this. So that's all I have. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, email me at samuelarimward at gmail.com. Thanks.